Growing up playing basketball, Jared Haas often wasn't the best player on his team. He wasn't the best shooter, the best rebounder, or defender. But he had those special qualities that don't show up on the stat sheet. Passion, heart, and a gigantic love for the game. He also had floor burns, and lots of them. He was always diving for loose balls during games because he wanted them more than the other players, and he wanted to be a difference maker for his team. And that approach to the game was forged at the youth level, thanks to caring coaches who were encouraged, motivated, and applauded his effort. Having the coaches and, uh, again, the support system growing up was huge in my success and, and uh, getting to where I am now. And uh, there's not a day that goes by that I don't uh, think back and appreciate uh, what those people did for me. What it also did was enable him to enjoy a great career at Kansas, where he played for legendary coach Roy Williams. By the time he left Lawrence, he ranked in the top 10 all-time there in assists, three-point field goals, and steals. He also led the team in floor burns. That's right, the Kansas stack crew began tracking them due to his tireless pursuit of every loose ball. By the way, he racked up 165 of them during his junior season. I always took great pride in uh, controlling the things you can't control. I wasn't 6'10", I'm not 6'10", and uh, you know, had some limitations as a player, but I always thought if the work ethic was there, uh, good things would happen. And good things did. That work ethic that was forged on the court led him to work alongside Coach Williams as an assistant for 13 years, both at Kansas and North Carolina, before landing the head coaching job at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. And now he's in the position to shape lives like the coaches he played for that shaped his life. Well, I think it's important as a coach to make sure you're rewarding everybody on the team for doing a good job and the kids at the end of the bench. Uh, you know, I talk with my team now about playing well, play well thy part, you know, and whatever your part is, if it's not a lot of minutes, there's still an important uh, aspect to that, being great uh, teammate, great, being great on the bench, and then being a great uh, practice player as well. So making sure that every player throughout the program knows that they're appreciated, and they are appreciated. I think that's something that each individual coach has to decide what their temperament is and what is the temperament of the, the kids they're around. I think it is important to lay the groundwork and, and push hard and try and work hard, but I do think there's a fine line of, you know, that you can't cross of, uh, of tearing down kids. And, um, and I think that's what the good coaches are able to do is understand that fine line of being able to push without going over the line. That's something that uh, I deal with as a college coach, the pro coaches deal with, and I think uh, everybody in their daily li lives deal with of maintaining, um, maintaining the intensity and, and you know, going to work every day. But I think that's something that we need to teach our kids that look at the bigger picture, look at the bigger goal, and if you want to achieve those things, it has to be a sustained effort throughout. Not every kid is probably a you know, born natural leader, and um, as a coach, I think you can take certain kids and, and really talk to them about doing their job, but also trying to lead the other, the other, team, the other teammates. And uh, I think that's an important skill to learn and, and grow. And as a coach, I think that's important we teach that. Jared Haas was lucky, and he knows it, because he grew up in a family that stressed the importance of working hard and doing your very best. And he played for coaches that focus on the same thing. You can't ask for anything more from young athletes than to give their very best effort every time out. Sometimes it works out, Sometimes it doesn't, but in the end, if coaches concentrate on building kids up every chance they get, they'll be preparing them to lead successful lives. Sports in general is such a great thing, but then playing for coaches that uh, care about you, spend time with you, and uh, want you to do well is great for the confidence. And um, you know, once you have confidence as a kid, it really opens up so many doors.